How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm loving all this a long time. I'm really getting a lot done right now. I mean, I could go on like this for, for a long time. I, I'm okay with not playing shows, not playing songs, not playing anything with other people, just playing by myself, just writing new music, all that. Um. Let's get started. I do miss everybody so much. I miss playing shows. I miss the guys in the band because we all live like two hours away from each other. We need to live closer. Um, I'm looking rough, man. I need to like trim my beard, cut my hair. But listen, that doesn't matter. We're here to talk about Stars and Galaxies which is the first song that Carver ever released in 2017. But, as you're about to find out, this song has a uh, lot longer history than that. So let's get into it. 2014, me, Phil, two other guys, we're living in a house here in Florence, paying like 150 bucks each for rent. It's incredible. Bachelor life, we're just, me and Phil sleeping in the same room, two beds just like, pushed up right next to each other, super romantic, you know? It's like Jim and Pam when they spend the night at Dwight's farm. Uh, I, they were gone for Christmas break, the rest of the guys were, it was January, they were about to come back or whatever, but I was bored out of my mind, so I was playing Phil's Strat, and I was messing around with this louver pedal that I had just got. And I came up with the riff for Stars and Galaxies, and then I sent it to the rest of the people in The Bear and the Bride, which is the band that me and Phil were in back in the day, kind of a folk rock band, six piece. And they liked it, we started playing it out. And then we recorded the first version of it in 2014 at the main room at, at UNA. And then in 2015, we recorded the second version of it for our full length record at Ola Elegante Studios in Birmingham. And then in 2017, when Carver became a band, we recorded our version of it. And we released that as our first single. Uh, I wanted to, get some of the folks from The Bear and the Bride to talk about it because they have seen the full like evolution of the song from the beginning when I sent it to them in this group text um, to now when, you know, when, when it's a, a completely different sounding song. So here we go. They're going to talk some about it. I hope you enjoy. Hey, Carver Commodore people. Uh, my name is Ashley White and I am a part of a little bit of Carver Commodore history with The Bear and the Bride back in the day. And Peyton asked me to talk a little bit about Stars and Galaxies because um, I got to be a part of the first time hearing that song, which was so cool. So the evolution of the song has been really interesting. Um, and as I listened to each recording of it, I just was struck by how many personalities the song can take on and still have such a character. Um, and I think we all knew that, like the first moment we heard that little... <laughs> First time we heard that, um, we knew this song could take on a million personalities and still stay a certified bop. <laughs> so it's been cool. That um, first recording is clearly it kind of, I can hear us getting to know each other. The second recording on the um, album EP we put out um, was after we had played out a lot and it was just us having fun. And now it has this really mature, cool swag to it. Um, and it's just cool to see how it's grown, so. I'm happy to be a part of it at all. So I can remember the song actually being thrown in a group text in 2013, I believe. We didn't know what it was or, um, you know, if it was a cover or if Peyton was like doing a joke or if he was just jamming on something, but Peyton actually sent us the song in a text. And uh, fast forward to um, us kind of playing it out live, it kind of became a staple of like the bear and the bride and like people look forward to that song because it was, uh, such a cool vibe, high energy. It was one of our fastest songs, um, more or less like poppy, um, just like the arrangement and stuff. So I think that time was just a time of six individuals who were super talented, um, kind of figuring out life and musicianship and our sound. And now, now going forward to the 2017 version, I remember listening to it on Spotify, but then Carver Commodore came to Nashville and I actually went to a show and just to re-experience the song and see the growth and maturity um, of just from arranging to just like the maturity of the players and um, all of that, it was super cool and super fresh. Um, so I'm very proud of that season in my life and super proud to have been a part of something that has evolved into something that is still uh, living on. And that song especially is still living on and is super fresh. And uh, yeah. 
So yeah, I remember when uh, Peyton first sent us the video uh, of just him playing it on his guitar, and uh, just even back then, I remember thinking like this this is gonna be a good song, and uh, just seeing the evolution of it going from there to uh, recording it in the main room, and even to what it is now, it's just I think that was a song that really started changing uh, the way that the band sounded, and and going into what it is now as Carver Commodore, uh, but it's. Just a great song, I've always loved it. So I remember the first time that Peyton showed me a voice memo of like a guitar keyboard melody that would become Stars and Galaxies a long, long time ago. And we made a funny dance video to it. So if I can find that, it has the original demo and us acting really silly. So I'll share it with you guys. It's probably buried on Reverb Nation or something like that. The song was first fleshed out sometime in the future uh, with our band, The Bear and the Bride, and it was for a school recording project. I don't remember what exactly the assignment or the class was, but um, I know that we tracked it at the UNA recording studio, and our friends Jeremiah Kirkland and Philip Towns helped engineer it. Philip definitely mixed it, and um, we ended up going back later down the road to re-record it for our first album too. But it really didn't change much from that first time. The original song was much more like a groove-centered, upbeat type song, um, heavily influenced by bands like Gunger, Lake Street Dive, things that we were pretty obsessed with at the time, honestly. Um, but it also ended up having a strong guitar element to it, lots of fuzz, lots of distortion, a uh, big guitar solo in the middle. Um, so it always kind of had some rock elements to it as well. So during the transition from The Bear and the Bride to Carver Commodore, we ended up using a few of those songs sort of as a launching pad for our new band. And Stars and Galaxies was one of them, but we didn't plan on uh, using this for our EP uh, that came out in like 2017. Uh, but a friend of ours actually steered us into recording the song and tacking it on to the EP. So it was recorded at a different studio um, than the original four songs were. But uh, we ended up sort of reimagining the song for Carver Commodore as well. And a lot of influences from the time were really seeping into that, like Blake Mills produced albums, Alabama Shakes, Dolls, and a lot of Black Keys. So it sort of took a vastly different approach from the original version. Um, so we dropped it down by like 10 BPM, stripped a lot of the instruments out. So it was, you know, just like guitar, drums, bass, and like a main keyboard melody. Not a ton of layers, even though there were a lot of guitar layers on top of it later. Um, really, it's just like a guitar heavy song. Much more chill, very laid back. Um, and this was also the first single that we would release as Carver Commodore. That came out in like April of 2017. But one really cool memory I have of this song was charting its growth on streaming, uh, specifically on Spotify. So I remember going to our Spotify artist app uh, to check these stats and it wasn't something we did all that often just because, you know, we had a very dedicated uh, group of friends who would listen to us, but we had not really had much reach other than that but I was really caught off guard because there was a huge spike uh, for like 11,000 spins on one day. And it just kind of like tapered off throughout the week. And uh, I was like, oh, Discover Weekly, cool. So I'd track it week by week and it'd be like, you know, first week was 10,000, 20,000, and then 50,000. And now we're up to like almost a million streams on that one song on Spotify, which is really cool. and not something that we would have expected from Stars and Galaxies to begin with. Really hard to believe. Uh, so thanks for listening to that song. It means a lot. Um, it's always fun to play and sing live and um, the crowd participation is always a cool moment for us. So uh, can't wait to do that again for you guys here soon. Uh, stay healthy out there. So there you go, some kind words from some good friends some Bear and the Bride folks talking about Stars and Galaxies. But now what I'm gonna do is uh, play each version of the song so you can hear the differences and you can hear how it changed over the years. Uh, first up is the version that we recorded in 2014 at the main room 
at UNA here in Florence. There you go. There's V1. Uh, some of the some of my favorite parts of that version are uh, the guitar solo. I played it while Phil messed with the the whammy pedal and did some cool stuff with that. But listen, I mean that. But listen, I mean that. But listen, I mean that. That version is cool. It sounds super raw, but uh, there were some cool parts of it for sure. The second verse has kind of like this little reggae part. Our bass player Travis would always be like, "Dude, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do a reggae part. We gotta make it go reggae." So we did that. Then we did, um, you don't know what you don't know. So next up, we got version two. The Bear and the Bride recorded this in 2015 in Ola Elegante Studios. And for the most part, we recorded it all live. Uh, with the exception of the vocals and you know a couple of overdubs, but we we were all in just in a big room playing together, and uh, this was a really fun record to make. So here it is, V2, Bear and the Bride, 2015, Stars and Galaxies.
That's version two. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Kyle, our keyboard player, he's singing there at the end, and that was awesome. That's always one of my favorite parts of, of that version of the song. Version three of Stars and Galaxies. Uh, Carver Commodore had been a band for a couple of months whenever we went into Noise Block and recorded this one. Um, our drummer and bass player at the time were Nick Harris and Jordan Cantrell. So we all recorded the drums and bass and rhythm guitars and stuff live. And then me and Phil did the rest of the overdubs at our house and at, in like a youth room and in a bunch of different random places. Um, I used this fuzz pedal on the solo that was like one of my favorite parts of, of the song as far as like the sound goes. This fuzz pedal that my friend Noah Howard made. And then um, I used, you know, like my SG and a bunch of other random guitars. I actually used this guitar a lot on that version, it's like on the ending part where it's... chorus and, and all that stuff um, because of the weird strap pickup in the telly I used this really crappy keyboard this kawaii like broken keyboard that I've got downstairs I used that and a combo of a few different sounds from GarageBand to get the keys sound on this I felt like this song still had some life in it uh, I felt like I could strip it down a little bit more make it a little more groovy and uh, make it our own as far as Carver Commodore is concerned. When we first got management, our manager was like, "We should should we do that song again? And, and I was like, no. there's no way that we're recording that song again. There's no way we're getting any more life out of it. And uh, people like it. I mean, this is still our most listened to song on Spotify and, and all the streaming services. Uh, a lot of people have found our music through that song. So I'm super appreciative of that. Uh, and this just kind of goes to show you that you can 
do a lot with home studios and not much money and a uh, garage band and a uh, pirated version of logic and pro tools and you know all this all this random mash of stuff came together to make this cool song this cool version that we still like playing so uh here it is version three enjoy of stars and galaxies uh, if you like one of the old versions better than our current version let us know take the stairs on down to the comment section and let us know if you hate us uh, if you love us it's great to get some affirmation every now and then but uh, if you hate all the versions let us know we, we love reading that kind of stuff yeah be sure to like the video share subscribe to our channel uh, turn on notifications we're gonna be putting out a lot of cool videos in the next few weeks uh, next week specifically, I can't tell you exactly what it is, but we're going to be putting out a And uh, then the weeks after that, we got some cool stuff coming, a new music video and some other stuff. So, till next time, stay sane out there, stay safe out there. It's a weird world we're living in right now, but uh, we're going to get through it together, and then we're going to come out and play some shows and see y'all's pretty faces again. Till then, see you guys. Thank you.